there are places in the universe where the laws of physics no longer apply. You feel as if you are on the brink of absolute annihilation in a place where there is only darkness and nothingness. Stretch your imagination a little. What do you think could be the most powerful object in the universe? This is a place where reality no longer exists and time is bent. There is no gravity, no light. Everything is trapped there forever. Its gravitational pull creates a spinning effect around it. Huge objects, whose destination is unknown, move under its influence. It envelops everything with its terrifying heat and radiation. Yes, you guessed right. I'm talking about a black hole, but not just any black hole. A monster with a mass of 66 billion suns. Let's examine this monster together. But before we get to the video, please subscribe to our channel and like our video on this space journey we've embarked on together. Our channel is still very new, so we need your support. Ton 618 is located near the border of the Canes Venatici and Coma Berenices constellations. Long before the Hubble Space Telescope was launched, in 1957, astronomers at the Tonantzintla Observatory did not immediately recognize it as a supermassive black hole. Astronomers focusing on this massive object, visible from very far away, were initially a bit surprised, because this massive light source was much brighter than known stars. In fact, what they observed was the massive quasar of this supermassive black hole. But what's really interesting is that in the 1950s, we knew almost nothing about how quasars formed. Scientific studies in the 1960s and 1970s revealed that the bright lights around these black holes, which look like stars, are actually the black hole's energy emissions. Through spectroscopic analysis, we can determine whether an object is a black hole or a star based on the energy emissions it emits. Let me give you an example to help you understand better. High energy radiation, especially X-rays, spreads around as a result of the acceleration of the accretion disk around a black hole. The most important reason for this is that black holes draw matter from their surroundings. Stars, on the other hand, do not emit as much X-ray radiation as black holes. Since stars do not pull matter from their surroundings and do not move at high speeds, they generally do not emit radiation at speeds as high as black holes. Furthermore, black holes cannot be directly observed because they have a structure that traps even light. However, their existence can be understood by detecting the energy and light emitted by the accretion disk or quasar around them. Stars, on the other hand, are natural light sources and emit light outward. Let's simplify it a bit. In its simplest form, the center of a black hole is black, as the name suggests, and swallows light. The center of a star, however, emits light, which can be detected through spectroscopic measurements. Don't worry. Ton 618 is located approximately 10.37 billion light years away from our solar system. So it cannot swallow us. Its redshift value is 2.219. Formed in the early days of the universe, Ton 618 is like a time capsule. The first light from it set out on its journey about 10 billion years ago. We cannot see objects this far away with the naked eye. The most distant galaxy we can see with the naked eye from a village far from the city or from the seaside is the Andromeda. It is only 2.5 million light years away from us. Ton 618 formed in the early days of the universe during a period when galaxies were slowly beginning to form. Its center is a place of infinite density and infinite gravity where time breaks down. We actually call the center of a black hole a singularity 
and as humanity, we build our physical and mathematical theories on the concept of singularity. This is because the information we have is very limited. We define the outer boundary of the black hole's center, where time loses its meaning as the event horizon. The event horizon is a point of no return. Everything that passes through it goes to another place that we cannot define or understand with the laws of physics never to return. Even light cannot return after passing the event horizon. The quasar around Ton 618 emerges from the energy emitted by a very high energy accretion disk. This energy arises from the black hole's powerful gravitational pull, causing matter to spin rapidly, collide, and generate extreme heat and gas emissions. Quasars are also known as active galactic nuclei, where gas and dust are rapidly pulled in. As a result, they emit radiation across all wavelengths, from visible light to deadly X-rays and gamma rays. Due to the bending and breaking of this monster's magnetic field and the effect of its gravitational pull, some of the energy is converted into plasma jets that shoot out at very high speeds from the polar regions. These plasma jets shoot out at nearly the speed of light. By blowing away gas, they can halt star formation and essentially shape the formation of the galaxy. To give you an idea of how big Ton 618 is, here's some information. Ton 618 has 16,500 times the mass of Sagittarius A, the supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way. Imagine what would happen if Ton 618 were at the center of the Milky Way instead of Sagittarius A. Our solar system would probably have disappeared before it even emerged, or different star systems would have formed. Because, with the terrifying gravitational pull of Ton 618, it seems highly unlikely that our solar system could have formed in its current state. Still, let's imagine for a moment that Ton 618 is at the center of the Milky Way. We are suddenly faced with a brightness equivalent to the total light of 100 trillion suns. It emits such a bright light that we cannot see other stars. This shows how powerful a quasar it is and that it has a much larger black hole. If Ton 618 were somehow placed at the center of the Milky Way, the gravitational effect it would exert on its surroundings would be immense. It could significantly alter the orbits of stars in the Milky Way. Stars and planets currently in stable orbits around Sagittarius A would be pulled inward, potentially causing massive collisions. The structure of the Milky Way could also change due to the immense gravitational pull of this monster. Furthermore, the X-rays and gamma rays emitted from Ton 618's accretion disk would have devastating effects on both our solar system and other star systems where life might exist. Perhaps life on Earth would have ended before it even began. As you approached it, you would see that the laws of physics no longer applied, that time began to bend in its irresistible gravitational field. You see plasma jets fired outward at the speed of light flying outward at near light speed. Significant changes are happening in the galaxy. Absolute darkness surrounded by fire and infinite singularity. So how could such a powerful black hole have formed? Actually, we don't know exactly how black holes are formed, but we still have some theories. It is thought that black holes grow by pulling gas and dust around them into accretion disks. 
Ton 618 reached this size by pulling in stars and objects in the galaxy around it. The fact that it reached this size shortly after the formation of the universe may be due to the large amount of cosmic debris around Ton 618 that allowed it to grow. This is because the expanding universe had a much denser structure in its first billion years than it does today. Over time, the universe expanded and its density decreased. Another possibility for Ton 618 reaching this size is that it collided with another black hole. We have strong evidence that almost every galaxy has a black hole with a very large mass at its center. In the past, the black holes at the centers of two colliding galaxies may have merged and grown by swallowing the cosmic debris scattered around them. The enormous mass of Ton 618 pushes these theories to their limits. Its existence challenges our understanding of how black holes evolve. Perhaps because we are still in the early stages of astronomy, many of our questions remain unanswered. Ton 618 is not only a monster that devours everything in its path, but also acts as a time capsule. The light emitted from its massive quasar has been traveling through the universe for 10 billion years, journeying between galaxies. By analyzing this light further through spectroscopic studies, astronomers may propose new theories about the formation of the early universe that we may never have considered before. When we look at it, we see the collapse of galaxies on one hand and the most fascinating moments of cosmic evolution on the other. And finally, when we look at Ton 618 through our telescopes, we observe both the terrifying and extraordinary nature of the universe.